G'day Internet, Kale from Wakato here, welcoming you to Getting It Done, a series where I'll share some of my favorite techniques and hacks for doing more with automation in Wakato. And it's only fitting that we start off with our take on what might be the greatest productivity hack of all time. Talking about copy paste, guys. <sighs> control C, Control V. Uh, that beautiful music that sounds just like that other beautiful music that you already did. Whatever work it is you're doing, you're creating a deck for a client call, or you're putting together a tender, or you're coding up a new API endpoint, often the easiest way to get going is to find something close to what you need, duplicate it, and then edit it to fit. It's not cheating. And you can do the same thing with your recipes in Wakato. Today, I'm gonna to show you a few tips for working with copy paste in the recipe builder. The first and simplest way is to reuse steps within a single recipe. Now here's a simple onboarding recipe and I'm using it to get new hires onboarded in Okta. And you can see that steps seven through nine here get the details of the employee's direct manager and send them a message in Slack saying that the employee is created in Okta and when they start. Now, I wanna add some error handling here in case I can't create the user in Okta for some reason. If there's a problem, I still wanna notify the manager so I can reuse these steps. And as a note, uh, messages and notifications tend to be great candidates for copy paste because they often have a lot of data points in them, a lot of effort goes into building them. And you might wanna reuse them with only some minor tweaks to the content. So I've created my error handling block and this is where I want my notification to go. Now I could copy all three of these steps but it's really only the message itself that I want to change. I'll need the manager's details no matter what. So instead, to optimize my recipe, I'll select both of these and move them outside of my conditional block so that they always run and this information is always available. Now I can copy this step and paste it into my error handling block here. Now I just need to slightly change the text. Could not be created in Okta. Now, there's actually a third outcome to this recipe, which is that for some reason, the employee already exists in Okta. And with just one more paste, I can cover that too. Without having to go through the process of building out a message three times. Nice and easy. You can also move steps between recipes. When you do this, it's important to remember that there's more going on here than just grabbing a block of text. Steps in a recipe are driven by data from a previous step and they output data to later steps. So if you copy a few steps from the middle of a recipe, you'll have these loose ends flapping around that you'll need to tie up, but it's easy to handle. I'll show you how. Here is a more complex onboarding recipe for my new hires. I'm doing a lot with this one. I'm setting up users in Okta, but I'm also sending out welcome paperwork and provisioning apps depending on a provisioning group. But new employees aren't the only ones who occasionally need to be provisioned. I wanna create a recipe that can do Salesforce onboarding on demand. So these three steps here are where I create a Salesforce user. I can copy these and paste them into a new recipe. You'll see immediately that we need to make some fixes here. This red text means that I have a broken mapping, a dependency on a step that I haven't copied over. But it's easy to go through step by step and fix these. I actually get suggestions to remap to the appropriate step. For this last step, I have eight different fields to remap, but if I just do the first one, I'll get suggestions for the others that I can easily review and accept. But what if I wanna use the same steps in a lot of places? In that case, it's a good idea to create a callable recipe. They make my main recipes more readable with fewer steps, and they also make maintenance easier. If I need to add an extra field to my Salesforce users, I can do it in one place instead of having to find everywhere that I've copied these steps. Copy paste is actually a great way to optimize by turning part of a recipe into a callable recipe. When you think about making a callable recipe, it helps to think about the entry point. You'll remember that this create user step needs about eight data pills that come from Workday. If I create a callable recipe from just these three steps, I'll need to provide all that information every time I call it. So if I start my callable recipe with this Workday request, then all I'll need to provide is this Workday employee ID. So think about making your callable recipe easy to use by minimizing the amount of information you need to feed it. So let's first copy this get workers request and we'll put that into our callable recipe. And you can see that I've set up this recipe to take the Workday employee ID as an input, and that's actually all I need. 
So now that I have my get workers request, I need to remap to my recipe input, workday employee ID. Now I can go back and grab my Salesforce steps and paste them in. And I'll need to do the exact same remapping job I just did. Now my callable recipe is ready. I can go back, delete these three steps, sub in my callable recipe, and then I just need to map that employee ID and I'm good to go. Three steps replaced with one. So there you have it. Reusability is key to getting more done. And copy-paste is a great way to make sure you're taking full advantage of the work that you do in Wakata.